This is Susie for Dobello's Designs. Today I am going to be sharing with you three super easy techniques for making really quick holiday backgrounds for your cards. Now, if you've already done your cards, that's okay. These work great for your gift tags too. And you can make a whole load of these backgrounds in a very short amount of time. So let's get busy. Now, for this background, we're going to be doing the salt technique. You've probably seen this before. It's just a really quick, simple way to get a really cool background. So for that, you're going to need your watercolor card. And again, you have your smooth side and you have a rougher side. You want to be spraying on your smooth side. You're going to need salt. Now, this can be a combination of any kind of salt, from rough salt coarse salt to table salt. A mixture is great. Now, I'm going to be spraying mine today in brush hose. You can use ink, you can use micas, you can use whatever kind of sprays you like. Today, I am using brush hose in cobalt blue, purple, sea green, and lemon. Now, I've already mixed them up into some spray bottles. You're also going to want some plastic gloves and a box to spray them in. So let's pull out our handy dandy box here. I've already put some paper in the bottom and we are just going to start spraying. So I'm going to start with my cobalt blue And I like to get mine really wet, and that's why I use the plastic box. I'm going with the purple. And your watercolor paper will start to roll up like this. Don't worry, it'll flatten out as it dries. I've got our sea green. And we're going to do our lemon. Now I'm going to throw a little more blue. And just spray them until you get the colors you want. Okay. Now... I'm just going to let that kind of run on my paper here a bit. Backing a bit off of that edge. Flatten it out just a little. And now we're going to add our salt. And like I said, as this dries, it'll start to flatten out and it makes it a little easier. You can add salt. Then also, if you don't have enough on it, or you don't think you do, you can put as much salt or as little salt as you want. So sprinkle it on, set it aside, and let it dry. Just that quick. All right, let's move on to the next. Now, for this background, I'm going to show you how to do a whole load of these backgrounds without having to reset your stamps or anything else. You will need a stamping platform. So, for this one, we are going to be using the Nellie's Choice Snowflakes, and these are Silhouette Snowflakes, SIL039. You're going to want watercolor card because we are going to use our brush o sprays again. Or whatever inks you want to use, that's totally up to you. I'm using brush o's today. 
You're also going to want an anti-static bag or powder tool. Versamark ink pad. Wow, clear gloss embossing or super fine embossing powder. Now, it doesn't matter if it's a gloss or if it's matte. What you want is the super fine or fine because you want to pick up all the details on these stamps. Now, if you're using a regular embossing powder, you're not going to get all the fine detail that you do with the super fine. Okay? Stamping platform heat tool. Now, you can make up a load of backgrounds really quickly, which this is what it's all about today, is how quickly can we make a load of backgrounds. So, I'm taking my snowflake stamps. Take your piece of paper. I've already cut it down to a size that I want. You can cut it to any size you prefer. This one happens to be a three and a half inch by four and three quarter inch. All right, now we are just going to take our snowflakes and we are going to pop them down randomly. First of all, now if you have a grid sheet, use your grid sheet. If not, I'm going to take some of these snowflakes off the edge, so I have to have a piece of paper down. I am just going to mark a line here. And that's where I'm going to line my card up. And I'll show you why in a minute. So, randomly take your snowflakes, place them anywhere you want to on your paper. And I'm going to do this just on one end of my card, and then I'm going to show you how to expand that. So just throwing these down, no particular order, few off the page, and there we go. Now, pick those up. We're going to do these all in one shot. We're going to take our anti-static bag, our Versamark, and just ink it up really good. Now, and because I'm using watercolor card, I'm going to just press that a little bit more than I would if it was regular paper. Go this out. Be careful not to touch your ink. And now I'm going to take our embossing powder, and this one's a brand new one, <laughs> so I get a little heavy handed here. Knock off your excess, and I need my crap board. Grabbing my handy dandy craft board here. We're just going to emboss these. And you just want to heat them until you see that change. All right, now you can stamp up as many pieces as you want, depending on how many backgrounds you want. These are all set. You have your line on your paper. Just keep lining up your card. All right. Okay, so I've already done the first set, and I've done several of them, as you can see. 
Now I'm going to show you why I made that line on my paper. Because now we are going to take and flip our cards. And you can see I've already embossed half of them. Now if you have bigger stamps, you can do this all in one shot. I love these little snowflakes. So now I'm just going to place them all over the card, just like we did the first time. In different positions. Oops, I've already got that one pretty close. We'll put that one down here. And just move them down to wherever you want. Clean your stamps first, because when you touch these, you're going to end up with that ink on your hands, in which case it's going to transfer onto your paper and your embossing powder will pick it up. And this is all about being quick. So, wash your hands. Wash your stamps, wash your hands. All right. So now we're going to grab those using our anti-static bag. Just going to powder that up. We're going to ink up in our Bursamark again. Popping that down. Grabbing our embossing powder. And we're going to set that aside and we're going to move to the next one. And that's what makes these so quick is you can do a whole load of these all at once. You get your heat tool nice and hot. You don't have to shut it off. You can just zoom through these. And it's all about how quick can you do it. I think it takes me longer to put my embossing powder on than it does to make the background. So you're just going to keep repeating that step until you're done. Okay, so now we have a bunch of our card fronts done. They're all embossed, so now we're going to go ahead and grab our sprays again that we used for our salt technique, and we're gonna spray these down. All right, so I'm gonna grab my box here. Just put a little scrap paper in the bottom. And let's see how many of these we can get in here. I think it'll fit five. All right. Don't forget your gloves, trust me. If you're using brushes or inks, whichever you're choosing, and you're spraying without your gloves on, your hands will get stained, and it takes a while for them to come off. So I'm just going to grab my brushes again and spray these down, just like we did with the salt technique. Now I'm grabbing the green. You can see the snowflakes are starting to pop through which is exactly what we want. Little purple. And I'm just spraying these in the same color because I had these on my desk. Change them up. Do whatever combinations work for you. And again, the paper will curl. That's okay. They'll flatten out as they dry. So I got a purple thing going on here. So I'm just gonna spray down a little more purple. And my bottle does not wanna work. All right. So now again, we're just gonna move these around. And then you can just grab your paper towels and anywhere that that ink sets up that you think it's too dark, just dab them off. If you don't want spots on your snowflakes, you can just dab it off just like that. Let it run. And then we're going to let these dry. And when they're dry, we'll make them up and I'll show you at the end what I did with them. All right, so have fun.
Now for this one, we're going to do this the exact same way that we just did the emboss resist. Except this time we are going to be using craft card and I am going to be using the WOW Sparkling Snow Embossing Glitter. This stuff is beautiful. Love it. So we're going to ink up a whole bunch of these all at once. It's all about quick. So doing it the exact same way, we have our stamps in position. And we're just going to sprinkle on that embossing powder. Tap it off and we're going to push this aside and go through all the rest of them. That's why we did that line on that sheet so we can line it up in the exact same spot every time. And you can whiz right through. Okay, so now I've got a whole load of them that are stamped halfway and have the embossing powder on them. So now we're going to heat up our embossing gun and we are going to emboss these all really quick and then we're going to do the other side just like we did before. Now the nice thing about this is you don't have to shut your gun off. You can just move from one to the next to the next and it'll heat really fast. All right, now that we have all these embossed, we're going to take our stamps, we're going to turn around and do this side, just like we did on the other ones. But look at the glitter on that. Now, when you're using the embossing glitter, you want to move really fast because you don't want to overheat it. If you overheat it, all that glitter is going to turn dark. It's just going to disappear. You're not going to have the color. You're not going to have that sparkle you want. So, move quickly. Keep your gun moving when using the embossing glitter. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish these up, and I'll show you what they look like when I'm done. So, here we have all of our finished cards. Well, the ones I have finished at this point. This is our salt technique, and for this, to decorate it, I ended up taking those same snowflakes that we use, but I embossed them with the glitter embossing powder. I also used the Lavinia stamp. This is the Red Pine Small LAB 592. The Joy to the World from the Sweet Poppy Stamps, which is SPS. TMP Noel. Now I use the stamp set on a lot of the other cards. So lots of different sayings. This is a great set. Now for this one, or these two, I use the Lavinia, and this is the Fairy Fir Tree 2 LAB 477. You can decorate these any way you want. They're so much fun. This little guy here, my husband's a guitar player, so I had to throw this one in. This is also a Nellie's Choice stamp, and it is Wintertime Snowman with guitar, WT008. Now, they also have a little drummer, and they have another one playing a squeeze box. Check them out. They're so much fun. And now I still have a load of backgrounds to go. 
if you don't have colored papers to match your backgrounds, especially your sprayed ones, I would suggest taking an extra piece of watercolor card, spray the textured or the more textured side. You can then layer it up with just a white piece of paper and then add your front and then decorate it any way you want to. But then this background is going to match this. So just a little tip. And when you're cut, cutting your card fronts, quite often you'll end up with a little strip that's not big enough for a front on a card. Take those strips, turn them into gift tags. All I did was take that extra strip. I rounded the corners, punched a hole in it, embossed it. And if you end up with a lot of spray on the backs of your papers, don't worry. Just cover it with a piece of white cardstock, glue it together, and then round your corners. It's so easy, and how pretty is that? Again, with that glitter embossing powder. I love that glitter embossing powder. And the great thing is, Del Bellos Designs carries all of the WOW embossing powders. There is over 180. Over 70 of those are glitter and metallic and shimmer and pearl. So, don't think you just get to do white snowflakes. You can change these up, change them to your more traditional colors or your pop of colors, whatever it is. You'll find it at Del Bellos Designs. Now, all the products that I used today did come from Del Bellos Designs, minus the colored cardstock. I have listed all of them down below in the description box. I'd also like to invite you to our two Facebook groups. One is for all of your Lavinia creations. So if you love Lavinia stamps, please come over and join us. Post your makes. We'd love to see them. It's Del Bello's Design Lounge. If you love your sweet poppy stamps and stencils and cardio, Nellie's Choice, all the other ones that Del Bellos carries, please join us at Del Bellos Designs a la carte where you can post all your other makes. We'd love to see what you do. So I really hope that I've relieved a little bit of your stress. If you've got your cards already done, make tags. These are so easy, but they're so pretty in the end. So until next time, stay crafty. Thank you.